Alrighty, it's homework help for day one of week eight. So I'm gonna help you with the two problems you see. This says, there are six minutes of commercials for every 24 minutes of television. How many minutes of commercials are there in one hour, 36 minutes of television? All right, so this is gonna be one where we set up equivalent rates. There's six minutes of television, or of commercials, I'm sorry. I'll put a C for commercials for 24 minutes of television. And we have to figure out how many minutes of commercials, so we won't know how many commercials there are, for one hour and 36 minutes of television. Now, the thing is, because that amount is in hours and minutes, we want to change it all to minutes. So here's what we know. We know one hour equals 60 minutes. So one hour and 36 minutes means we would add 60 plus 36 to get 96. So one hour, 36 minutes is 96 minutes. Next, we need to solve this. So I know if I multiply 24, can't really see the yellow, 24 times four, we get 96. So if I do six times four, we'll get 24 minutes of commercials. And that's your answer to the top one. Next one, it says, Jeremy, oh, let me get my pointer on. Jeremy had a board that was nine yards. How many feet long is that board? Hint, one yard equals three feet. All right, if you're doing this with me, I want you to do dimensional analysis. If you remember, we're just starting this in uh, chapter three. So what that means is we're gonna multiply two fractions to get our answer. So let's do this one together. First off, we're going to take our amount. He has a board that is nine yards. So that is nine over one. So we write that amount as a fraction and make sure you put your yards on top. It is very important to label your units. Now the conversion, one yard is three feet, is our second fraction. But here is the thing with dimensional analysis. If yards is on top here, you want yards diagonal in the other fraction. So that means one yard is three feet. Now, when we do this, we're gonna reduce. And part of dimensional analysis means we include the units when we reduce. So these yards here cancel and go away. That means the only unit left is feet, so our answer will be feet. And then we just solve this. There's no more reducing. Nine times three is 27. One times one is one. So my answer is 27 feet. All right, I hope that helped. If you have any other questions, make sure you ask them tomorrow in class. Thanks.